It's white. It's white. Very good. Tell me more. Float through that white. It's a vast white opening. It's infinite. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to drift and float. Deeper and deeper into that white. There are stars. There are stars. The different fractals of light within the white space. Mm -hmm. Very good. As we leave a dark space, we enter this white space. And as you leave this white, this dark space into the white, I'd like to, for you to focus on your own being. Look at yourself and tell me, what do you look like as you're floating through this light? I am pure energy pure light. As I enter the white space, I just become one with this space. It is a part of me and it's a part of everything. What do you feel as you float through this? I feel this expansive feeling of infinite silence and emptiness. Connect with this white. Begin to connect and download the information from this place. This is pure source infinite. This is where we originate where we originate from Keep going. and where we come from to everywhere else in the universe. So I'd like for you to see now where you originated from. Allow yourself now to go to that source and connect even deeper. I am an aspect of this white source, infinite light. Almost like a cell or a fractal of pure, concentrated life energy. My origin is like a numeric sequence of information, shapes, sounds, color that is infinitely intricately connected with everything around me. It's as if I am everything and everything is me at once and the origin is a circular cycle of existence. Explain to me that circular cycle. There is no beginning and there is no end. There is no time as we experience time here. It is just a cycle of existence. Tell me more about this cycle. From this cycle comes the concept of infinity concept of pure connectedness and expansion. All beings originate, all source essence light originates from this pure white infinite. And it is an organism that holds on to all of these patterns of life. The patterns of life are a reflection of themselves within themselves. How many of these does an individual have? An individual holds billions and billions of molecular cells that create their organism. And within that is infinite knowledge. 
that one is capable of entering into different dimensions of existence. Why is it that when we come to a place like Earth, we forget about this? We have to transform and mold ourselves into different dimensions. And as we do, certain aspects of those realities cannot co-relate and co exist within those dimensions which limit the existence of that life force of that existence so as we forget how do we connect once again to this source the source information is inscripted it is coded within every cell of this human body therefore the only way to find this information is by tapping into our own cellular structure of our body to understand the body in itself. Why do we not know this? As we come into the dimension, the body violently has to readjust to itself to a new environment in which the cells are activated and some are deactivated in order to align to the material reality in this matrix. A matrix, which we call it a matrix, but it's a construct of matter, of the same molecular structure on different fre frequential layers. So when the human body, soul, enters the body, it has to adjust, deactivating certain aspects of itself and activating others. Once a person knows that this is the reality, how can they themselves activate? Is that possible? You cannot remove knowledge and pure existence of information from a substance of which it's something is made. Therefore, we have the ability to tap into that knowledge and that information at any time, as long as we become aware of his existence within us. Mm -hmm. And it takes our time within this matrix reality to become aware of that by understanding to the molecular level how the human body operates, understanding not the biology but the energetic structure and architecture of mankind within this dimensional reality. When one taps into this source, into this intelligence and knowledge, does the person, individual, feel differently? They feel aware and awake, mm -hmm. and the process of awakening is often difficult and painful because every cell becomes conscious of itself on such a heightened level that it must readjust, it must reconnect with its material surroundings, and it often does not match its material surroundings. The vibration that a human holds when it's awakened, when it's enlightened, is a much higher vibration that has to learn how to mold itself in this physical reality. That is why Awakening is such a difficult process for many. We struggle coming in and out of this consciousness constantly until the body is able to readjust on every level, multidimensionally, physically, biologically, within every level of the body. Is there a way that we can make this awakening less painful? Yes, by non-resistance. Mm -hmm. We resist becoming conscious, we resist the pain that the matrix mirrors within us. And it is when that occurs that we have a difficulty integrating the information from within. We actually do not receive anything from without. When we are learning, when we are accessing information from a higher level, it is actually our self that is recognizing the truth within us. So if we learn, if we go to classes, sessions, we are just accessing the information within. That is actually how the human operates. There is nothing we acquire from without. Absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. What do we 
call this energy within us? Do we have a name for it? You can define it as pure consciousness. Pure consciousness. It is intelligent, it is alive, and it is aware of itself in any environment, receiving, processing information, and we are referring to everything on a cellular level, mm -hmm. on a molecular level. The molecules of the body are conscious, they're pure consciousness, and they are aware of themselves and capable of processing and accessing the information from around its environment. So, let's say that a body becomes ill. How does it heal itself? A body will heal itself by destroying any resistance that it has subconsciously to the moment, to the, to the experience that it is accessing. If there is illness in the body, it means that any aspect or a aspect of the human body is in resistance or rejecting an aspect of your experience. So, for example, a cancer. Can you talk about something like that? The cancer within the body is many things. We, there are two aspects to this, but from the aspect of healing the body, the primary purpose of cancer is to destroy itself within itself. Therefore, the human that holds on to this cancer energy must reprogram the rejection that it has towards that information within. There has been many years of dwelling on information causing painful patterns of self-rejection on such a deep level that the subconscious mind has agreed and believed that it is not worthy of living in coexistence with these painful experiences. And therefore, it rejects itself. And this is what allows the body chemically to withhold the vibration of chemicals of a cancer. Mm -hmm. From another level, this vibration can also be manufactured by this matrix reality, putting the human in a state of awareness in which they attack itself. It attacks itself. And that being said, cancer is feeding off, destroying the body in such a way that the DNA structure of the human body is now lessened to a vibrational level that is accessible and, and in a way easier to control and manipulate. And this is why cancer is so rampant in this moment, mm -hmm. allowing controlling factors to come in and destroy aspects of DNA, which is very specific to this matrix reality. Why would one want to destroy this? pure essence of consciousness which each body is holding in itself is infinite, vast intelligence which surpasses the vibrational reality within this reality. Essences that do not hold the ability to maintain this vibration on such a level must utilize the energy that is emitted from that consciousness moving when consciousness moves, it creates an energy cycle, bends these ribbons of energy throughout the body. And those ribbons of body provide an information that is so unique to the existence of our organic creation. Certain essences require those energies in order to understand how to survive it is when we reject the consciousness within ourselves that we become the perfect seed for this information and for this cycle of activity within our reality. Now I've heard that illnesses are hereditary. 
Would you speak about that? The way that we are connected, interconnected as a whole, we are source, infinite source, infinite consciousness. Infinite consciousness is one. There is no separation. As we are brought into the dimension of the physical matrix or the physical reality here, we are entering a different dimension in which energy, pure information, is split up into different aspects of itself. That is what you can call a family in, in our terms. Mm -hmm. Family members, our network, our connection, our friends, are all actually aspects of ourselves. We are all so interconnected as an entire human race, as a species of, of life, that any time that there is a cancer within this entire mass of information, it will spread in resonance wherever that information is available. If one aspect of that network becomes ill and rejects itself, it will then align with the next aspect of itself, wherever that may be in a network or in a group of souls, and it will mirror that information. There is no such thing as hereditary on the level in which we believe that we have to embody some contractual agreement to illness. Illness is a choice. It is a choice. We have the ability to come into this illness. When we come into the organism of this matrix universe, we have the choice to select whether we want to embody certain factors of reality that would assist in heightening the evolution. Some of us light workers are here on this planet embodying such illnesses as cancer in order to teach others how to transcend that energy within the body, how to heal. We are gifted with these illnesses and this information from the perspective that we bring and remind others the ability to heal it within themselves. And through that, we heal even farther, larger aspects of existence in this reality. If we're all aspects of each other, why do we choose to come into an incarnation with such difficult challenges, family, poverty, illnesses, disabilities? Why do we choose something like that? So the question is, As we reincarnate on this earth, how do we choose our life stories and roles that we play? Every essence of life that comes into this creation of existence creates an agreement to experience as pure consciousness what it's like to heal, to move energy, and to become conscious of itself. Within those many levels of consciousness and opportunities for consciousness to become aware of itself, it enters into this physical dimension where different aspects of itself are disabled in order to push the level of ascension that this being will partake in. The agreements that we make coming into this earth are enlacements that allow us the opportunity, the, uh, that consciously allow consciousness to become aware of itself. There is no limit 
for the experiences that consciousness is able to access in order for our evolution to continue all aspects of existence of possibility must be explored we do not learn by sitting still and evolution does not occur by not experiencing every aspect of the reality here is carefully manicured on two different uh, perspectives the first consciousness experiencing itself this particular realm that we have all taken the time to experience in this moment in time allows us to experience a very unique aspect of life as each one of us like a little light evolves itself here within the experience of an illusion of life we also have the ability to transform and mutate consciousness which is what we are in many different ways our ability to connect to this information is so vast our ability to select the lessons per se that we want to select allow us the gift and the opportunity to experience vast amounts of information in a way this information cannot be accessible to those that are not ready for it and we can consider ourselves different frequencies of information that have traveled different lengths of time through space embodied different physical shapes embody different aspects and species of this reality from light to sound to matter to bodies that are different sizes and all of which maintain codes of information that we may look at each other and look at ourselves like humans but in reality they are round gigantic spheres of light that hold massive amounts of information our human existence is one aspect of our greater self our greater self is a giant a giant ball of light and consciousness this very small human existence that we experience here on this planet is one aspect of all the probabilities and possibilities that our giant self has the ability to experience because we are pure consciousness we choose to come into these layers of dimensions in order to experience and expand to the highest level of our expression and in the same way that we are miniature universes our vast universe utilizes our experience and our work to expand ourselves beyond the possible realities that we experience our existence is so valuable but not just from a collective perspective every action that we take creates a direction for the entire collective universe and you multi universes beyond that like cells this universe is one cell of a much farther vaster universe filled with other cells of organisms of consciousness now when we started you said there is a cycle and there's a lot of talk now about awakening about an event what is happening to this human race this event that is said to be called an event by the name event is a manufactured movement of energy and control on another layer that we sometimes cannot comprehend any kind of feeling and emotion that urges us to feel that time is running out or that we have to be at a certain place at a certain time is an illusion that only belongs to this matrix reality we are pure source energy conscious 
expansive and infinite, we do not belong to the limitations of time and space. And we must become aware of this. Any time, anything wants to put you into a box, limit your experiences and your expansive evolution, is a destruction of the possibilities of your DNA, of the possibilities of your existence. As I mentioned previously, all our organisms are working together, evolving. In this matrix reality, different schools of thought and existence have been tainted in order to manipulate and control and produce fear. When we talk about time, we start to feel fear. We are infinite beings that cannot be controlled by the thought of limitation. Any time that someone talks about time, we must understand that we have the capability of surpassing any information and evolution that limits that or wants to define it. These events and concepts of limited events and evolutions that are created by mass controlling departments of our reality are creating these experiences to make us feel that we limit our ascension. And any time that we come into a feeling of not doing good enough or not accessing what we need to access, it immediately disables certain codes within the DNA that do not allow you to access waves of information which are being emitted in the universe. As we evolve, the greater consciousness from which we originate is sending us waves of information as it evolves. And that evolution is what we need to be able to pick up like antennas on this planet. As we are accessing this information, we must be able to integrate this information from a place of purity, of clarity, like a clean crystal instrument. If we hand over our evolution and our consciousness to an idea of a limited timeline, we are disabling and ignoring what we truly are made of which is infinite consciousness. Now it's, told, it's been said that the earth is changing too, that it's also evolving. Can you speak about that? Everything is evolving constantly, moving. Everything, even these walls, are constantly evolving and changing with the information, the vibration that they pick up from what we are experiencing in this room. Everything that we are experiencing in this room, in this moment, is being magnified 10 feet around this space and even further on different levels of vibrational information. Everything is conscious. And from that perspective, we must understand that our relationship to things around us have to be managed from that perspective as well. All things around us are holding information to assist us in our evolution. Now each person has a lot of power. How would a, a group like this, with so many in attendance, all focusing on the same, how does that work? Each person is a very complex body of information, a very complex body of different organisms and cells that contain consciousness. The human body is divided into different sections, operating systems that work together, processing information. In this room, when we align together, we become one conscious organism. Any aspects of itself that are in resistance to unifying itself to the mass organism in this moment may experience different aspects of itself. 
However, will be forever changed vibrationally from the information that's being put out. Any kind of images or sensations that you feel as you see, as you allow yourself to see these images, changes the construct and the chemicals within the body down to a cellular molecular level. All of us in this room are aligned with one and you may not be aware of what aspect of yourself requires this information, but you will receive aspects of that information as needed vibrationally, whether you are conscious here or not. Why is it that some individuals wake up suddenly, their third eye is open? What would cause something like that? There are two reasons for this to happen. People that are consciously working on their evolution are very aware of the direction of their work. And when they release contractual agreements and blockages within the multidimensional body that hinder the activity of certain energy uh, centers within the body, then become heightened. These energy centers become heightened. If you are able to activate your crown chakra and your third eye to see multidimensionally, that is one aspect. You have 22 more to go. We must be consciously working, effectively activating and communicating opening space to receive the communication that we need from every functioning organism within the body. Our physical body is just a very tiny layer of what we actually are. The multidimensional body is what holds on to information from the experience here. A lot of us tap into this information and we are able to utilize our tools like intuition. But we must keep going. We experience these awakenings from two levels. One, from the work that we're doing consciously to wake up and keep clean and purify the body. But two, it is a soul agreement within yourself as you evolve, as you experience all the things, your higher self is there to assist you in providing you with what you need on your journey, on what you need during this experiential life and experience on this dimension. So at the given time when you have moved around the puzzle pieces of your subconscious mind and the multidimensional body, you will tap into the gifts that you require for your journey. These are also provided for you based on your ancestral lineage. Within family lines, certain aspects have been strengthened and others weakened. Within families, there will be people that have higher sensitivities to certain things and others that are completely closed. And just like the human body that holds different energy structures within the meridian lines of the body. These must be all flushed out and open for energy and life force to flow freely through the organism. In that same way, each one of us holds keys and codes to unlocking certain information within the physical body. This must be done consciously and with care and with love and awareness of your highest purpose and direction. You will not access this information if you are not aware and conscious of what you're here to do. Allow yourself to open up. You are given gifts as needed to incorporate healing yourself and the greater organism of which you are a part of. Now, some people wish to have all of those gifts revealed now. What would you like to say about that? Some of these gifts 
are disabled within the body to preserve vibrational waves of information that you are unable to embody at that moment. It requires further purification of the body and healing and strengthening and unlocking of information. In order to heal, to be a clean crystal for a source information to travel through you, for you to be in alignment with the greater source provider of these waves of information in the universe. You must let go of your belief in this reality, in the physical dimension. And that requires many levels of cleaning, cleaning the lies that you have believed since childhood. But more importantly, as a sentient being, as pure consciousness, all the experiences that you have on this planet enable you to experience exactly what you need with the tools that you need to get what you need done. And also with the quote unquote disabilities that may not allow you to access certain parts so that when you access them, you understand that they are interconnected to different aspects of yourself that hold on to stagnant information. You must understand that all of this works like a puzzle piece. When you unlock one section, another section opens up for you, allowing complete flow. You must allow this work within yourself freely, without resistance, without coming from the connection to the physical dimension, which involves this need and urgency of the ego that has nothing to do with pure consciousness. There is no rush. You are pure consciousness. Work with what you have and embody what you are supposed to do now. How do you discern the difference between your higher self and your ego? Your higher self is a vast, infinite source of information. The ego is concerned with the present physical dimension. The ego is conscient of itself, can become conscious of itself. But when operating in the physical matrix gets entangled in the illusion of itself, pure source consciousness does not require anything other of awareness of itself. And from that perspective, it is an infinite fountain of information to everything from the highest vibration possible. Through our evolution, we will access different layers and levels of that consciousness based on what we require in that moment. This organism that is traveling through time and space, experiencing life as it is now, has the ability to access all these key levels of information based on its experience of itself. So when you are connected to your higher self, there is no resistance, there is no limitation. It is a pure embodiment, connection, symbiotic relationship with all things around. How do you connect with other probable selves in all dimensions? We are constantly creating and connecting, moving in and out of dimensions. We do not know but the way that the universe operates and the way that we are living our life here on this earth, in this moment, in this time, in this space, everything is vibrating at different levels. Within that vibration, our human body is connected to different layers of our bodies. Those different bodies that are on different frequential levels are moving in and out of this present dimension constantly. This is why we have the ability to tap into future experiences 
or past experiences. This is why we are able to embody and experience fears, traumas, or even joys, loves, in this present moment, simultaneously, without being presently experiencing it. The incredible power that our human body has is the ability to experience the multiverse at any given time, and that is what gives us our power. We have the ability to do that organically, and that is because we are pure consciousness Pure consciousness is connected to everything at once. And we choose our timelines because timelines are constantly inter interconnected based on the emotion that we feel, the thing that we say, whatever we choose to do. We're constantly choosing our timelines. So having the ability to have the foresight of seeing in which direction you are taking before you take it is incredibly important to allow you to select your cycle of evolution and how you wish to experience it. Mm -hmm. Now how do we discern that organic timeline and avoid the manipulated false reality traps? Because you are pure consciousness, as I mentioned, pure infinite source information, pure consciousness lies within you. You have the ability of tapping in to that information at any given time. If you are able to become aware of yourself and to be aware with your relationship with your surroundings, you have the ability of choosing depending on how this organism is resonating with the information. The problem is that the majority of us do not know ourselves. We are not conscious of ourselves on such a level that we allow our surrounding environment to define who we are. And because of that, we create from what we are told. We must become aware that when we are conscious in our bodies, when we are truly conscious of ourselves, we are no longer victims creating from what we are given. We create from vast, infinite pools of possibility. And very few of us have been able to access those capabilities because we continue to pollute the body consciously, subconsciously, with our fears, with our resonant mirrors of the matrix around us. Let's talk about those fears. For example, right now, at this time there are many fires. People are fearful. Can we choose a different timeline without the fires? We absolutely can. And especially now, it is imperative that we understand what the matrix or what this reality is providing us to see. Everything that surrounds us in this moment is very carefully manicured in order to create agendas of fear, to separate ourselves as far away from our internal connection as possible, to distract the body, the mind, and the soul from its own consciousness. Understand that as we are evolving in the next few years, when we reach the levels of evolutions that we are in, everything has to readjust and reassemble itself to a heightened vibration, multiverse, organically, not just in this organism of life, but beyond that. And because of that, any kind of resistance or duality per se is going to readjust as well, mirroring and mimicking the same duality that is being expansively created will be created in the other direction. And therefore, we as light beings, light workers, and conscious people must become aware of where our emotions are 
how we can create this reality and this world that we live in, in this physical dimension, is by deciding our emotions every moment of our day, our experiences. Instead of buying in to the anxiety, the fear, the pain, the suffering, we must neutralize all deep fears of death because we are never death. It doesn't matter what experience you are going through physically or beyond, but you are never death. And that is your most powerful aspect of being a human. And if you truly understand what that means, any kind of stressors, whether they are fires, political movements, wars, illness, famine, natural disasters that are manufactured to pull you away from your core essence, we must be strong enough and sure and conscious of who we are as source essence. And further, apply what we understand as pure consciousness in our movement. Our priorities must be towards raising the vibration of each other consciously and constantly. If we allow ourselves to let go into that fear-based programming all the time, we are allowing others to dictate this experience multidimensionally. So do we have to have some sort of a practice to be more patient while waiting for divine direction? Or are we part of that divine direction? You are absolutely part of that divine direction as a fractal of source. But further than that, as a fractal of source, you are source within yourself, which means that you have the ability to change what you see. When you are a clean instrument of your body and mind, a crystalline, pure source for energy to flow through, you have the ability to change and manage all of this illusion that surrounds you that does not serve Instead of being full of fear and continuing to mind your own business and your daily life, we must truly unite in order to create healing on a much larger scale. Everything is in our hands. We actually have the power to be able to take back Whatever illusion of manipulation may be, it does not matter. The human body is one organism here on this planet. And we cannot forget that the illusion of separation is just an illusion. So we have to act, we have to heal, we have to move those things. And they're all based on emotions? Emotions are tools to understand the physical matrix. But emotions are only the tools for the first part of our evolution. When you surpass and you understand and you have gone through the baby steps of understanding the spectrum of, of emotions, it is imperative that you as pure consciousness experience the entire spectrum of emotions. It's imperative that you are aware of the entire spectrum of emotion throughout your lifetime. Without that information, you are not fully conscious of yourself. And once we understand that, we will be able to utilize the emotions for what they really are within the body. And they are navigation to allow us to discern higher vibration from lower vibration. And that is all. And from there, you can move and act 
as necessary in order to create the highest expression of any experience possible. Our soul focus should be to create the highest expression for our soul evolution as possible every moment of your existence. Can you talk about sacred geometry? Sacred geometry is the language of the multiverse. All things are created by this sacred geometry, but only on one dimension. As pure consciousness, there are many aspects of reality. Sacred geometry is encoded in everything that we are, and it is present here on this planet because we live in a physical reality in which we must understand the architecture of our creation. Sacred geometry allows us to reach that understanding by accessing the information of what sacred geometry is. We are able to understand not only from a shape perspective of how everything is constructed down to a molecular level, but also on a frequency level information. And this information is encoded. And why it's there is because pure consciousness has the ability of reading these codes. This code is ingrained in this physical matrix to allow us to see things, but we surpass that. Our ability to understand these codes is beyond what we think. It is our ability to combine color, light, and sound in order to really comprehend the universal language of this multiverse. Every layer of dimension will hold a different strand a basic architecture to its creation, one of which can be geometry, another can be sound, another can be light, another can be color, another can be just pure vibration. And each one of those are layers that create this physical dimension. This vibration is one of them, the vibration of love. Can you talk about love energy? Love energy is the encoding, the basic encoding of this entire multiverse. Love energy is pure consciousness at its core we as humans are confused with the definition of love as we tend to compartmentalize physical affection in this physical reality with what love on the highest level truly is. Love on the highest level is pure consciousness the actual vibration that a human body emits when they feel pure love, non-egoic love, is a encoded vibration that within it holds expansive levels of pure consciousness. And it is when we feel and we create this pure consciousness of love that there is that spark of life that has the possibility of being created. However, this energy is so powerful that here on this physical matrix, we are barely experiencing not even point zero 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 fifty four of what it truly, truly, truly is. Mm -hmm. 
we cannot possibly comprehend the power that each human as a whole organism has to experience this connected vibration of pure consciousness called love. Can we send that energy to friends, family, for example, our children? This, or do they have it themselves? This energy must be learned by each human how to access and how to utilize first within themselves. In this physical reality, we are so far away from allowing ourselves to experience that pure consciousness and that pure, expansive vibration. Because the body is tainted with codes of fear and heavy illusions of the physicality that we are in, that we are unable to feel this, this love on this level. In order to even begin sharing the love that you wish to share, a human body must embody this love every moment of its day. It must radiate this love. It must become this pure consciousness. There is no need to send this to anyone when you embody pure consciousness of love. Because within a network connection connected to all beings on this planet, the fact that you decide to turn on your essence of pure consciousness, you then infect or resonate with that within others. And it is our duty, it is our duty within this physical reality to reach that point that we are able to embody that pure conscious love. Now there are many in the room and around the globe that are now doing healing work. Would you explain how that works when one allows another one to help them heal? What is happening? The healing work that the human race is doing in this moment is so powerful and so necessary. Unfortunately, we must relearn how to heal as we are entering new levels of ascension and evolution. As we are working with this energy to heal others, we must understand that the healing must be on ourselves on such a deep level that when we allow healing for others, we are showing them how to embody what we have embodied. We cannot heal others if we haven't healed ourselves. Very good, thank you. Now I'd like for you to take a moment now and do a scan of this room. And as you scan this room, Allow yourself now to connect to these souls and tell me if there's anything here that you need to tell them today. Yes, I have someone coming in. There is a lady here. That is going through a tremendous amount of pain. The internal pain that she's dealing with her family is that of a deep separation and ripping of the family apart. She's been dealing with it for years. 
And she is in so much pain to see this separation that it's causing illness within her. What she must understand is that as she is working with them, her acceptance of non-duality, her acceptance of understanding that everything is united and that this separation is superficial is the most important thing that she must understand. The resistance that she feels towards what's happening is causing an illusion of an illness now and she must stop allowing that to happen so that she can reintegrate within herself and her family. Very good. Anything else that you see that would be of interest to all that are listening? Do not hand over your power to anyone. The illusion around us will probably try to make us feel that we need to hand over our power. You must understand that feeling emotion is just guidance to help you learn how to process it properly. As each of you are coming in to a new level of ascension, you have the ability to open new doors. You have to think so big like you've never thought before. You need to make yourself available to something that you never thought was possible. The way that our world is right now, we need you we need you so desperately to come into a state of love. And the love is not looking for affection. It's not pretending to be happy or pretending to be in love or pretending to be okay. Love is genuine. When you are genuine with your emotion, even if it means that you don't want to smile or you don't want to be there, available emotionally for other people. That is when we start to move real energy through your organism. Consciousness is so connected to each and every one of you, and all of you operate like roots and a tree. And the energy that comes in through your branches comes down to the center of the earth, communicating information back and forth vibrationally. You are receiving information about ascension, but at the same time, you are able to access further strands of information based on what you allow. Fear is what limits your progression. Allowing yourself to let go, just let go of the past Stop holding on to validations that you want to receive from others. Stop holding on to needing to be accepted and loved. Understand that you are pure consciousness and pure love within your body. And that once you understand that and you embody it, you are capable of moving and creating everything you need in your life. We ask consciousness as a pure collective source of information. Please understand that right now, your consciousness and your light is needed on this planet. As you come into pure love, as you come into that pure consciousness and connection, your entire body will transform into a light being vibrationally. And as it does, all the problems, all the blockages no longer affect and move you from your core balance. 
as they once did. You have this available to you, but you must understand that you have to make the choice to access that information now. Take the time to heal, to clean, to embody, to evolve, and to move. Don't be okay with mediocre. Don't be okay with only understanding half the truth. Find who you truly are and the true expression of your entire being. Very good. Are we complete? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you.